This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, everyone. Valdemar here with more Murdered Soul Suspect. We're playing as... Well, excuse me, I'm playing as Ronan, and we're going to possess a cat. I'm back over here where we uh, met that uh, girl for the first time at the beginning of the game. I want to see if I can find some stuff. There we go. We can use this cat to our advantage. Woo! Jump up here. Get to I didn't mean to fall down, stupid cat. Even though I like cats, but still... Not that they're not prima donnas in their own way, so... Yeah, there you go. Anyway, let's get up here. We're gonna find some more secrets that only the cats can, uh, pertain to. Whoop. Hey, lady. What are you doing up here? It's okay. I taught her. Miss, what, what, what happened here? That looks like like a baby down there. Please help me. It's supposed to be dead. I can still feel growing inside me. It's trying to rip its way out. Wait. You did this? You, you killed your own kid? You don't understand. There was something wrong with it. It wasn't human. It, it was something else. Something darker. What the hell are you talking about? It showed me things. Horrible things. This was the only way to stop them from happening. But I was too late. They've already begun. I, I can see them crawling their way up from the flames. We have to run! Uh, you gotta find a way to move on, lady. You can't run from this. If you want it to stop, you have to find a way to, to move on. I, I can't. There's nowhere to go. There's only darkness and flame. That's gonna turn you into a demon, lady. You're gonna become that if you're not careful. Where'd that cat go? Alright, let's get back down. That's all I wanted to show you that. There's another thing in the area, but, uh, you know, I'll, uh, do I want to show you the full... Oh, can I even... I don't think I can actually get away from this. Huh! Alright then. Poor cat. Well, goodbye. Uh. Alright, there is another place around here. I think I'll cut to when I find it, so I'll be right back with you folks. Okay, so on our way to the, back to the police house around this area, there was an area I stopped at before, but I decided to uh, skip it, thinking that it took you to another area, which is it's pretty short to begin with. There is a... Oh, that is not what I want to do. I'll get you later. No, there's a fire canister here, external flame, one of the stories around there. Uh, I think there was also a... I thought there was a thing I could grab here. Not p just possession. Maybe it was the possession I was thinking of. Huh. That's weird. Is there like a thing? Like a reveal? Nope. Just for some reason I can go through it and nothing else is here. Anyway, so. Uh, I guess it was just the cat. I could swear that there was something else I could grab like around here. Alright, well, anyway, let's possess the cat and uh, go up that little thing right here. I'll show you. Go, kitty. Go! Go, mittens. Go pa pa Shanks Redemption. You like that one? <laughs> anyway, let's uh, show this. Let's see where this cat takes us. Wait. Wait. And we'll just make sure the cat doesn't fall off. I love how you can sometimes get a cat basically stuck in position that he can't get away from. He's like, well collected that. That's pretty much it. Alright. Cat alone. Alright, now I'll see you back uh, at the uh, police station again, so I'll see you then. Okay, we're back to where we originally started at the end of the last episode, so let's uh, explore this area. This will probably be the closest way. I still have yet to figure out how to get... There's a secret, like, around here. I'll figure it out eventually. Um, maybe I'll look online if, uh, if we get near to the end of the game and I still haven't figured out how to get past to that uh, little hole in the wall because there's no one to possess or anything, so. Let's see, so. I guess I have to go through that. Let me see if there's anything over here. Huh. There's supposed to be a symbol. Did I already find it last time I did this? Uh, apparently, there's multiple ways to get. 
Aha, here we go. Uh, there we go. Alright. Interesting. I think that's where I'm supposed to go. I want to see what happens when I go inside this uh, flaming house. Because I think I saw this earlier and I skipped it. I don't know if I showed it on screen or not, but... Or it's just a have passageway through. Okay, that's cool. No extra secrets. God, what is up with the frame rate in this game? Anyway, here's another one I found earlier. The bell killer symbol. Detectives are trying to find any possible connection to the bell symbol. People named Bell, literally referencing to bells. Anything having to do with the bell. Okay. Why is it still highlighted? Huh, that's weird. Oh, it actually let me stand on something. That's probably glitched. Didn't mean to do that, apparently. Uh, okay, let's see. It's over here. Ooh, more info. Witnesses immediately moved to trauma counseling after discovering the badly burned body. Ew. Not cool, man. Does that mean there's another symbol around here, or is it counting the one I just passed? Huh. Well, I'll keep a lookout for it. Hopefully I'll find it. Because sometimes, I swear, you have to be like... You have to have angled the camera in a very specific... Ooh. I didn't know I could actually go through there. Anyway. So... And there's the psychiatric hospital. I don't think I'm allowed to go through there yet. Not going that way. I assume I have to go there at some point. Okay, so I need to go this way. Let me... See if there's any other. Like I said, the game is supposed to like kind of show you the 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 patterns of that girl scratching her drawings or whatever. But sometimes they're really easy. Ooh, there's another gas canister. Just need a couple more of those. Cause sometimes on some of the scratches, like where it shows like the girls like uh, writing, sometimes you'll very barely see like the eminence of the of the. Of what she scratched on there, like, uh, but it's very hard to see. So, okay, so there is one around here somewhere, but I guess we'll run across it while, while exploring. Ah, oh, maybe it's over here. I know we're kind of doing a, a bit of a story, a plot slash uh, slash exploration today. Uh, mainly like I always do. Like no symbols around here. Oh, what's this? Hello. Well, what's up those stairs? Shall we check? We shall. We shall indeed we do. Okay, no symbols I'm aware of over here. Okay, let's go up those stairs. Ah, frame rate. Stop it. Stop it, frame rate. Bad frame rate is a bad frame rate. Ooh, another, uh, another flaming barrel. A barrel? Just three more. I don't know if I'll find them all yet, because they're kind of spread around all around the uh, this area, and I don't want to spend every single waking moment to on this. I may have to come back because it showed a symbol saying there should be a uh, a. Um, a drawing of uh, one of those girls drawing somewhere. Can I go in there? Nope. Looks like I don't see anything in there anyway, so. Huh. I've noticed a lot of the uh, stuff that's stopping me from going to other places is like, it looks like old, old colonial Salem or something like that, which is probably what the what they're going with. Like in terms of theme, because it seems like the old Salem of colonial times and the witch trials seem to be a very big, uh, seem to be referenced quite readily, readily in this game. Which means they are important. Foreshadowing. So that is. Ah, more info. I've almost learned all about I can't get out my killer. While the Salem Police Department still resists official connect, uh, officially connecting the recent killings, they have completely failed to address the strange manner of each murder, where the primary cause of violent death in New England, as well as the rest of the United States, is gunshot wounds. None of the recent killings have involved gunfire. Are deaths from burns or associations somehow on the rise, or is there a killer with a bizarre motive exercising a twisted method of operation in, in the... Huh. Interesting indeed. Most serial killers usually do have some, like, weird perversion or, or method to the madness. Uh, there's more stuff to reveal over here. 
I wonder why that stuff's there, not, not there for you to actually check until you reveal it. I mean, I know it's probably part of the puzzle, but okay, you, you've got to be kidding me that there's nothing over here. Aha! Um, I can't really fly, dude. Are you sure there's no like no reveal function around here? Cause it, let me. No way. Do I have to possess a cat or something? Uh, yeah, that um, that didn't go too well. Let's try it again. Man, my chair is squeaky. Squeaky clean. Maybe I do need to possess a cat to get uh, past this part. Huh. Because there's clearly a uh, fire barrel. Or, well, a gas canister. Sorry, I don't even know why I keep calling it a barrel. It's not a barrel. But... And I know possessing a cat probably wouldn't do anything about that. So I, I really don't see what I'm supposed to do. Maybe it's something later on in the game that I have to uh, unlock or something? That doesn't make sense, folks. Like, seriously, there's supposed to be a way over there, apparently, but uh, I can't see it. And there's no reveal option. I could destroy it, but... Maybe I need to... Maybe there's an ability that I need to learn before I can get over there, because I don't see any hiding spots or anything. Well, I'll come back to it later. I don't want to spend like 20 minutes trying to figure out how to how to get past that part. It's why I had issues trying to get all the achievements in the Batman games, like uh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham, because I didn't I didn't go with the story uh, further enough in the story, and so I didn't actually have the skills to get to certain areas. So another history. So <laughs> I was confused. It's just because I hadn't gotten it farther in the story to where stuff was unlocked. You know. The Ashland Hill Cemetery was founded in 1632 as part of the church yard for the recent Puritan settlers of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Certain traumatic events expanded the cemetery significantly, one of which gave the cemetery its name. In 1665, a shipload of immigrants escaping the plague in London realized that the ship's population was already infected. They remained quarantined in the area of the cemetery, waiting to die. When they did, their bodies were burned and their ashes buried in the graveyard, henceforth known as Ashland Hills. Ugh. Definitely a lot of history. It's very morbid, comparatively to date. Oh, huh. Who are you? I can't believe this. Are you happy now, asshole? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> you said I was the one. More like one of many. I don't even know who sees in her. Oh, look at him. What a pig. He doesn't even feel guilty about what he did. Just look him staring at her. Did he kill you? He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? Does it matter? It looks like he's moved on. Maybe you should too. I can't. Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. Alright. I'll look into it. Yeah, why not? You you're you feel like you're you're suffering and I bet I bet being a ghost means you're more prone to your emotions than any other time in your life. It doesn't take the detective to see that the woman is heartbroken. I should try to figure out if her boyfriend cheated on her or not. Well did he? I guess we'll find out. It's a uh, possess. Okay, influence. So there's a clue I'm missing, huh? Can I look around the place before I? Well, let's 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 um let's possess him first. That should give us if we if we choose her. That should that should give us an idea if he has any clues. Everything seemed great. I guess that's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is, if she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. Man, it's so messed up. So the girl killed herself, huh? Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. 
So she committed suicide. And it seems he only met his fiance after she committed suicide. Ugh. And because of her state, she didn't remember. Ex-girlfriend suicide. Let's uh Oh no? Really? That that, that one influencer? Huh. Okay. I guess it's both on both accounts. Okay. I wonder if he still thinks of her. Maybe that's why he's always been so hesitant. I wouldn't blame him, but it sucks that she's the reason I even approached him. He looks so hurt and broken. Like he needed someone to talk to. I didn't expect to fall in love with him. Weird how things work out. True. She was just trying to be a friend. She never anticipated this. Huh. Soldier to cry a, a, sho a shoulder to cry on. Looks like the new girl only approached him because he looked so distraught and lonely. Huh. Well. Sorry lady, it seems like uh seems like they just got together after you died and you committed suicide. Did you cheat on her? Looks like he only approached her Oh what? No? Ah, come on. Oh, the order of events. Okay. So I am doing it wrong. Okay, so it's... God, I am so bad at this game. Okay, broken hearted. Escrow suicide. And then a shoulder cry. Yay, I can put... Things together. Woo! This was all a big misunderstanding. Let's see. Turns out he wasn't cheating on, uh, and your suicide is actually what brought them together. I'm not sure how she'll take it, but I guess I'll find out. All right, lady. Sorry to tell you this. The good news is he wasn't cheating on you. The bad news is your suicide brought them together. So. So he really loved me? Looks like it. I've made a big mistake. He still thinks about you. Maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten. I suppose. I just wish I had trusted him more. Maybe it could have been us getting engaged. What's done is done, I guess. Anyways. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, hopefully she'll she's finally found her uh, what she needed to move on. Well, she did because obviously she disappeared. But you know what I mean. No, oh, what's this? <laughs> we solve a mystery and hey, clue. Hanging from a uh, victim was hanging from the ceiling, possibly suicide. But no, no, Bell symbol raises possibility of murder. Ugh. I thought. Earlier, I found something in the general area, but no, I think it had something to do with inside of here. Oh, what does this guy have to say? Hello. Uh, on the clock, you look guilty. On the clock, hey, buddy. <laughs> you on the clock or something? I was. I uh, worked here ten years until I couldn't take it anymore. An aid a gun. Some secrets are just too heavy to carry. What exactly did you do? Some landscaping. Mostly grave digging. Pretty much everything you'd expect a groundskeeper to do. You know that's not what I meant. Look, you were once a detective, and I was once a, a humble groundskeeper. Let's just leave it at that. Fine by me. I was just trying to help. Huh, I guess I this guy doesn't want any help. Okay, okay, Jesus. Calm down, yo. Yeah, there's there's a... Hmm, must be something else I have to learn, because there's something in there, but I don't see any options of, uh, of getting around it. Oh, and there's also supposed to be some... some notes around here somewhere. Did I find them all? Oh, I think I did find them. I just... Did I collect it? Oh, I guess I did. I guess I collected that one on screen. Whoops. <laughs> Previous episode, huh? Alright. Well, sometimes I forget I, I, I check what I check. 
See, I already possessed this cat to get the information from there. All right, let's uh. How's that? No, no hide spots pop up. Okay, let's go in the cemetery. About time we got on with the plot. Yay! We're making progress. Right as the episode's almost over. Well, I need to stop it later after this cutscene. I used to see this as Julia's final resting place. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just the place for others to come and remember what they used to know. so long, Julia. Uh, well, looks like his wife's buried around here, which I bet that means there's a scene around here. But first, we need to find Joy. And who was that crazy ghost girl jumping all over the place, shadowing me? I guess me and Ronan will find out next time on Murdered Soul Suspect. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you when the case continues.